to get us home. Uh, people come up here asking us all the time, like, how many years y'all been in business? And I said, to open a cider mill, first of all, you have to be at least 150 years old. So my grandpappy came out here and he died right where I'm standing. We buried him underneath this sacred ground and we went ahead and we put a couple Johnny Apple seeds in his place. We didn't have much money for a headstone back then, but what we got was a tree. What we got from that tree was apples. We mushed them up real nice and started selling them to these families out here. And that's how the no apple picking apple cider mill got started. Come on, come on, I'll show you around. Come along. These over here are trees. I ain't gotta tell you that, you look like a smart one. <laughs> a lot of people come up here asking me, how do you know the apples are even good? Now you'll see over here, there are a bunch of apples over here on the ground. You know, it's like we say, we like to come up with little mottos, and little, 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 little mottos. We say, hey, if it's on the ground, leave it hang around, because those ain't the good ones. If it's on the tree, hey, that one's for me. Come on over here, let me show you around. What's an apple cider farm without, without a volleyball net? Every good one has one. I mean, what if some of our guests want to play some volleyball? This here's a road. A lot of farms will tell you, you don't need a road to make good apple cider, but <laughs> that's not what we believe here. I say good roads make good neighbors, because you could tell them to hit the bricks. Every good apple farm needs a really good motto, and ours is uh, no apple picking, thank you. You know, we are the only ones that want to be doing any of the apple picking. Nothing ever kills a, an apple orchard like little greasy little kid digits. Right here's a little baby tree. This is what we call a nursery. This one's sleeping. Hang on, little tree. You'll be a pie someday. Not today. Not today. We don't even make that much money off cider no more. A lot of our money comes from tree couches. Real sturdy. Teenagers love to get to second base in our apple orchard. This is actually, I don't have the hard data on this, but it's probably top five, six places in the nation to get to second base if you're between the ages of 13 and 45. Come on down. You know, sometimes we got some weird shit that grows out out here. Uh, I don't know what the hell this dead thing is. I hate to beat a dead hearse here, but uh, as you can see, a cider mill wouldn't be done without a good deer and sheep cage. Uh, deer and sheep together in the same cage. This is our own little metaphor for racism and how it needs to be ended. Uh, you take all different kinds of people, you stick them in a cage, we'll have world peace soon enough. Get that? Okay, kill one for dinner. You look like an idiot, but the jacket looks really nice. Oh shit. Yeah, yeah baby. I like these kinds of jackets, the ones that are like... <laughs> like if you were in this, I'd be like, thanks for coming, man. Do you got that, the, this weird grin? 